This is Rachel Rhodes with your News in 90. Amusement turns to horror for 10 passengers on a roller coaster. Thursday night, the sandblaster in Daytona Beach derailed, causing two passengers to fall 34 feet to the ground. Two other passengers were still in the car, dangling from the tracks. First responders removed the eight remaining passengers from the ride by ladder. Six people are still at Halifax Hospital in Daytona Beach. This 40-year-old ride was installed in 2013 after being purchased from a closed amusement park in Delaware. The Justice Department finds James Comey guilty of bad judgment and not much else. They say former FBI director was not politically motivated during the Hillary Clinton email investigation. Their report accuses Comey of having an error in judgment for reopening the case days before the election. Comey tweets that it's reasonable, but that he disagrees. Another criticism is Comey used a personal email during the investigation. Hillary Clinton responded on Twitter saying, but my emails. Tens of billions of dollars in Chinese goods could see new U.S. imposed tariffs as early as today. Trump approved a new plan after meeting with cabinet members and trade advisors yesterday. The amount of goods could reach $55 billion. This comes after allegations that Beijing steals or pressures foreign companies to hand over technology. China and Beijing have levied their own tariffs on $50 billion of U.S. products each if the president follows through with the plan. That's your news in 90, but your Florida news is always on at wuft.org.